Holy smoke and taxes pretty much sums up the calls into the hotline this week. Hamilton County voters will soon decide if they want to pay a higher sales tax, this to fix Cincinnati Metro's bus system. I vote no for the tax hike on the buses. I'm tired of Hamilton County, people getting into my pockets for anything and everything they can think of. More money, more money, more money. They should do with what they've got. Make us the highest tax county in the state of Ohio. That's disgusting. I think it's time that uh, the people running the county uh, take and do a flat tax and let everybody pay a portion. I don't think Hamilton County taxpayers should have Metro's problems on our backs. We're paying enough in taxes. We're paying for a stadium that even most Hamilton County people can't afford to go to. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's new law increasing the age to 21 to buy tobacco products is still causing smoke of its own. I believe changing the smoking age is a waste of time. If they can't stop underage smoking, how are they going to stop someone from 18 to 21? It's a waste of time and a waste of taxpayers' money. I'm a senior. I believe the age really should be moved to 25. These kids don't need to be smoking. I'm an ex. Smoker. I'm calling about the governor raising the smoking limit to 21. Thank God he did. Hopefully this will save some lives. If they can't buy tobacco or tobacco products or smoking products until they're 21, they shouldn't be allowed to vote and they shouldn't be allowed to go in the military. If they can't make that rarest decision at 18, they're not going to be able to make it at 21. So what's the difference? Let them smoke if they want to smoke. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin's encouragement for students to take their Bibles to school once again caused a divine divide on the hotline. Bevin should not encourage the Bible in school. We're supposed to have separation of church and state. I believe that when Bibles were taken out of class, the guns come in. And I think that it's a wonderful thing to get back into the classroom to get a good foundation in the children's lives. I think it's wonderful that the kids can bring their Bible to school. It's inappropriate to have bring your Bible to, ch to school day. I believe in separation of church and state. I think it's a great, just a great idea. And I wish they would teach the Bible in school. I think the idea of taking your Bible to school is unconscionable as well as unconstitutional, and I'm thoroughly against it. Thank you so much for all the passionate calls this week on all those different subjects. And if you ever have an opinion about a story you see right here on 9, pick up that phone and call the hotline at 513-852-4998. Well, you've got just a little